There's been a significant progress in the development of automated vehicle technology in recent years. Many cities are already trialing various forms of automated vehicles. But what's interesting is that most of these automated vehicles come in a shape that is very similar to cars and they're designed to drive on roads. We're developing multi-purpose platforms to do autonomous research in a shared or road-like environment. We're looking to do things like moving people, goods, or even do cleaning in this kind of space. Our research looks to solve challenging problems in perception, planning, and navigation in a crowded environment. We use the state-of-the-art in sensing and algorithms to understand the environment and also to predict what everyone will do next. When we drive around in a car, um, we tend to rely on using eye contact and gestures to show what our intentions are. When you remove the driver, as in an autonomous vehicle, that direct interaction is lost. One of the big challenges of operating in a shared environment is that we need to interact safely with people who can be very unpredictable. When an autonomous vehicle plans a trajectory, we have to take into consideration the potential motion of each pedestrian. In this project, we use knowledge from media architecture and interaction design to design new interfaces on vehicles that communicate the intent and awareness of vehicles. This is important because the research shows that if a vehicle is able to communicate this clearly to pedestrians, their behaviour becomes more predictable. It is difficult to design this kind of communication between automated vehicles and pedestrians because it is an entirely new form of interface. We are used to certain light indicators on cars and their meaning. With automated vehicles, people need to learn a completely new language, which is why it is important to consider carefully what form these communication interfaces should take. For example, does a green light displayed on the car mean that it is safe for pedestrian to cross, or does it mean this is the car is in operation? To understand how to design the content on the low resolution lighting display, we developed a tangible simulation toolkit. We 3D printed a model of an actual car with a low resolution display attached. We also developed an iPad application which allowed us to change the content on the display. The model can be placed into a virtual environment represented on two iPads. By placing the car on the environment, the display content changes automatically according to the context. We then ask a number of participants to provide us feedback on a series of proposed light patterns. This helped us to understand which patterns worked well and which ones maybe weren't as clear. We fit LED light tubes around the windscreen so that we can show people in the surrounding environment what it is that we plan to do. We've programmed light patterns to respond to the state of the vehicle to show things like the vehicle speed and also if there's any objects that are detected nearby. We then used a 360 degree video camera to capture a scenario in which an automated vehicle is picking up a passenger. The video is recorded from the perspective of the passenger waiting for their shuttle. We are using color and light patterns to indicate the behavior of the vehicle. For example, whether it is slowing down or changing its trajectory. Importing the 360 degree videos into Unity 3D allowed us to replay them in a virtual environment. We call this a hyperreal prototype, as it creates another layer of reality into the virtual environment. As part of this study, we are comparing these hyperreal prototypes to traditional 3D modeled VR environments. We are interested whether the representation has an effect on the sense of immersion, the perceived aesthetics, and the trust of participants. This project is part of a larger study in which we are investigating different ways of how we can communicate intent and awareness in automated vehicles. As part of this study, we are also developing a new approach to use 360 degree video recordings in order to test complex urban applications in virtual environments. In the future, we want to test the concept of hyperreal prototypes further and develop them to allow participants to interact with an automated vehicle in the virtual reality environment, for example, using gestures. There are a lot of really interesting technical challenges to solve, but it's also interesting to think of all the potential use cases for this technology in society. 
We're looking how we can interact with people and let them build trust in our systems so that we can operate safely in these environments.